It's deeply moving. It's healing. It's inspirational. This year, the Bloomington Symphony Orchestra is celebrating 60 years of providing wonderful music to the community of Bloomington and the communities that surround Bloomington and adds to the vibrant fine arts life of the city. 60 years is quite a thing to be proud of for this community. Well, this is my 39th season as principal trombone. I wouldn't stick around that long if it wasn't a really good orchestra. I spend my time with the Bloomington Symphony because I believe in the word amateur, which gets a bad rap. But if you take the first three letters of that AMA, it comes from AMA, to do things for the love. We are more than just volunteers. We pay dues to be in the orchestra. We make a contribution to the operation of the orchestra each year. Some of the people you might actually recognize might be a neighbor that you see is playing the flute in the Bloomington Symphony and you had no idea. I'm sitting next to some really, really incredible musicians. It kind of inspires you to keep your own game up. My day job is with the Minnesota Orchestra. I'm in the second violin section, have been since 1997. And I was asked to be the concertmaster of the Bloomington Symphony by Manny Laureano, our conductor, because he's also a member of the Minnesota Orchestra. He's our principal trumpet. I jumped at the opportunity. Now, Michael and I have known each other going on 30 years, if, if we haven't reached that already. And he's a character, and we have a lot of fun in rehearsals. The repartee that goes between us is, is starting to become somewhat legendary. We take the music very seriously, but we do not take ourselves seriously. The Bloomington Symphony is where it is because of the efforts of one Doc Evans, who started the orchestra in 1963. It was quite small, but then it grew over the years and because of that very important community support and also because he knew how to program music and be able to do things that people would want to hear. And he remained music director until his death in 1977. The music that we do is the great classics of the repertoire. We're not doing watered down arrangements. We're doing stuff that Minnesota Orchestra plays. For this to last this long means that we've had great support from the city for one thing. I think it's important for any community to have as many arts programs as possible. Bloomington is rich with arts programs. It is a big deal. We've got that longevity and that staying power with, with music directors and players and audience members, supporters that have given for many, many years and that continue to come to our shows. We put on six, sometimes seven concerts a year, most of them at a minimal cost, some of them for absolutely no money whatsoever. As long as the elements hold out, we're going to be at the Normandale Bandshell. There was a time we had a conductor who happened to have a toupee and his baton got caught in that toupee. And I'm not sure which section it ended up in, but he said, now you know my secret. And that happened before I got here, shoot. <laughs> we were playing a symphony, and you know, the, the deal is you don't applaud between movements. It can end very slowly and quietly, or it can be kind of a rousing end to a movement, but the piece isn't done yet. And this little kid, he couldn't have been more than five, and he just kind of yelled out, yeah! It was really great because he just had this unbridled enthusiasm. My favorite part of this is getting to a concert and everything comes together after all these weeks of preparation and everything gels and everybody does their absolute best and they feel rewarded. That's what this is all about. We bring a lot of joy to our audience members and that makes it kind of worth it. There's nothing like a live performance, so if you've got a local orchestra in your hometown, I think it's a treasure and I think it's uh, something worth celebrating and going to see. And it is your orchestra. I think you should be very proud of having this organization here, especially for 60 years. And you've got a group of about 75 people who are here with their heart on their sleeves, playing music for you as often as they possibly can. <laughs>